Nursing Care Plan on Dengue Hemorrhagic Fever Nursing Assessment Assessment of a patient with dengue hemorrhagic fever should include Evaluate patient's heart rate, temperature, and blood pressure Evaluate capillary refill, skin color, and pulse pressure Assess evidence of bleeding in the skin and other sites Assess increased capillary permeability Measure and assess of the urine output Nursing Diagnosis Acute pain related to virus infection in the body. Hyperthermia related to the process of dengue virus infection. Deficit fluid volume related to the migration of intravascular fluid into extravascular. Imbalance nutrition less than body requirements related to the decreased appetite. Risk for bleeding related to possible impaired liver function. Risk for ineffective tissue perfusion related to failure of the circulatory system. Risk for hemorrhage related to altered clotting factors. Nursing diagnosis. 1. Acute pain related to virus infection in the body. Goals. To relive pain. Planning. Assess pain level and location. Administer analgesics as prescribed. Keep comfortable position. Ask about pain after given analgesics. Implementation. Assessed pain level and location. Administered analgesics as prescribed. Kept comfortable position. Asked about pain after given analgesics. Evaluation. Pain level. Pain is reduced more than earlier. Nursing diagnosis. 2. Hyperthermia related to the process of dengue virus infection. Goals. To maintain body temperature in normal range. Planning. Monitor vital signs. Loose and remove excess clothes and sheets. Provide tepid sponge bath if more than 102 Fahrenheit. Administer antipyretics as prescribed. Encourage adequate fluid intake. Implementation. Monitored vital signs. Loosed and removed excess clothes and sheets. Provided tepid sponge bath. Administered antipyretics as prescribed. Drug name, dose, time, route. Example. Paracetamol. 1 gram 6 hourly oral. Encouraged adequate fluid intake. Evaluation. Body temperature, pulse rate, respiratory rate, blood pressure. Fever is reduced more than earlier. Nursing diagnosis. 3. Deficit fluid volume related to the migration of intravascular fluid into extravascular or nausea and vomiting. Goals. To maintain normal fluid volume status. Planning. Monitor vital signs. Encourage oral fluid intake. Observe signs of dehydration. Monitor input-output. Administer antiemetic as prescribed. Implementation. Monitor D vital signs. Encouraged oral fluid intake. Observed signs of dehydration. Monitored input output. Assess capillary refill time. Administer antiemetic as prescribed. Evaluation. Body temperature. Pulse rate. Respiratory rate. Blood pressure. Capillary refill time. Balance nutrition less than body requirements related to the decreased appetite. Goals, to maintain normal nutritional status. Planning. Provide oral care before eating. Give warms meals. Encourage family members to bring food from home to hospital. Arrange pleasant environment. Explain to the patient on importance of adequate intake for recover. Implementation. Provided oral care before eating. Gave warms meals. Encouraged family members to bring food from home to hospital. Arranged pleasant environment. Explain to the patient on importance of adequate intake for recover. Evaluation. Increase appetite more than earlier. Nursing diagnosis. 5. Risk for hemorrhage related to altered clotting factors. Goals. To prevent hemorrhage. Planning. Assess signs and symptoms of gastrointestinal bleeding. Observe color of stools and vomitus. Monitor vital signs. Encourage use of soft toothbrush. Observe for presence of petechiae, ecchymosis, implementation, assessed signs and symptoms of gastrointestinal bleeding, observed color of stools and vomitus, monitored vital signs, encouraged use of soft toothbrush, observed for presence of petechiae, ecchymosis, evaluation, BOD temperature, pulse rate, respiratory rate, blood pressure, Know any signs and symptoms of gastrointestinal bleeding, but patient has risk for hemorrhage. Thank you. Like, comment, and subscribe.